Are you looking to learn how to needle felt a flower? If so, then you're on the right video because today I'm going to share with you how and more. Hi everyone and welcome to today's video, How to Needle Felt a Flower, Plumeria. My name is Aislinn and on this channel, Snowflake Forest Felting, I share needle felting videos, have needle felting tutorials like this one, and share product reviews from time to time. So if you're new and this interests you, please consider subscribing. And if you want to know more about anything you see here on this channel, be sure and check the links down in the description below this video or leave a comment. I'd love to connect with you there. And as always, please share my videos where you can. Now, to get started, I'm going to show you everything you're going to need to make your flower. You're going to want your needle felting needles, a tape measure if you're planning to make your flower a certain size, some scissors to trim up your project when you're finished, foam surfaces of your choice. I like to use one if I'm working with white and then one for if I'm working with color. And next, you're going to need some wool depending on what color you're making your flower. Plumeria flowers come in all different colors. And so to make this one, we're going to be using a bright pink in two different tones. One with a little bit more purple or fuchsia and one with a little bit more magenta. And then you're going to need some white for the edges of your flower. And then as you get towards the center, you'll be using some yellow and even a hint of an orange color. And as always, I'll have all this linked down in the description below for you and you can go and check out more there. I want to show you here some plumeria flowers that I've taken pictures of here on the island. Starting with this white one with a little bit of yellow in the center. Then there's this one with a little bit more pink on the stems and the flower petals are more separated. And there's these pink ones. And then the whole bush of them. And then this one, this is the one that we're going to be creating today. So you can see there's a lot of color variances in this one, so we'll be meshing the wool. You'll also want to notice here the shape of each petal, that there's five, and how the white highlights the petals as well. When I made the hibiscus flower that you saw on this channel, I modeled that after the picture that I took of one when we were staying on the island of Kauai. So be sure and check that one out too. Now you can get out your felting needle. you want to set your colored one aside, and if you're using a white surface, grab that. Put your needle in there. I like to use these foam surfaces because it gives a place to hold my needle while I'm felting. Grab your white wool and then plumeria flowers have five petals. You want them all to be the same size. I like to squeeze them in my hands to fill how much there is. Make them all even. And then you want to start felting your flower. So take your needle and just start piercing the wool. Flower petals are really thin. So you're going to flip it back and forth and felt from each side and as you're felting you want to shape that petal and you'll leave a little spot that you'll pinch and have that loose because that's where we'll pull the flower together and felt each petal together. Now just continue this process until you have your petal completely felted and the shape that you want it. So while you're felting, you're going to want a bottom part of the petal and a top part of the petal as well. So on this top, I'm going to have more of one smooth arch and the bottom is going to be a little bit of a straighter edge and then the arch in. Here you can kind of see that and it'll smooth out as you continue felting. So this is looking to be a pretty good start. If you're curious or you're wanting to check your size, each petal that I'm doing is just around two inches. Now continue this process for each one of your other petals until you have all five felted. All right, now you really want your petals to be as much as the same size as possible. So if you need to remove any wool or add any wool, don't be afraid to do so. I like to sometimes put them on top of each other. It even helps you make them the same shape. 
and then just confirm that they are coming together as similar as possible. If you have any wool pieces that don't fit into your project, just pull them right out and keep on felting. So now that you've got five petals felted, go ahead and line them all up so that you have the top of the petal to work with. I'm gonna set the other ones down and get started on the first one. So as you can see, along the curved edge, that is gonna be where you want the most pink. Then we're gonna fade into a little bit of the yellow-orange color, and then you'll look more into the white. And this one, I don't want this brighter pink. This is roving, because you can see for the most part the fibers are all aligned. And this is wool batting, because the fibers are going different directions. Some of this out. That's going to be really helpful in me making the straight line along the edge. We're going to mesh the colors some here. If you want to see a more specific video about meshing the colors, I do have one and I'll be sure and link it for you down in the description below. And the eye card above. And here I have some more roving as well for the yellow and see that almost just transitions perfectly like the flower does so what i'm going to do here use a little bit more because i want to mesh enough for each petal I'm gonna put those two together and these two together and then a little bit of these two together put that out of the way so these are the three piles i'm going to mesh simply pull the wool apart back and forth and the more you do this, the more it's going to blend. And then just continue this process for each color. You're going to notice if you're trying to blend roving and batting, they're not going to want to mesh very well. But that's okay. We'll be adding little pieces onto our petals. I get my color mat here my first petal and now it's time for you to start adding on your wool grab some of this roving here i'm gonna try to make it the same length of the petal i'm gonna start at the tip pierce it on in and follow it right along the edge just like so then once you have that pretty secure grab some of the mesh color you're not going to need a lot, and just fill in the inside, like so. Next, take your next color, fill it in, like so. I'm going to hit more orange, pink color right there. You really want it to be blended. There you go, see how much better that looks blended? And I'm just gonna take some of this orangey color. Not very much. And then you can take a very little bit of your light yellow and you'll pierce it along that edge. And then there you can see your petal is almost completely covered. And then you're also going to felt from the other side. You can see the color comes through. It's a really thin piece. And this is going to make some of the white pop through, and that's totally okay. I know it's wanting to stay a really flat petal here, but we'll get it shaped as you continue to felt this and get these colors completely felted on. And then this is really tricky to do, but you can felt along the edge some. 
you do this, really make sure you're careful because you don't want to pierce yourself. But that's going to help you get some curvature as well. And then just continue felting until your petal is completely felted. You'll notice as you felt it back more, it's going to flatten out, and that's okay. You can shape it even more at the end once we attach all the petals together. Alright, this isn't completely felted yet. It still has some more work to be done. But you're going to want to continue this process for each one of your petals, so they will all look the same. that you have all your petals made here it's time to give them a trim so you're going to want to trim all the way around like so and then you're also going to want to trim them across the surface and on the back and just get rid of all those flyaways so go ahead and do this to every petal and if there's anything more that needs any felting give it a final felt you're going to want to probably trim these over a trash can or outside not in your work area as you can see it can get really messy all right once you have finished trimming all your petals we're going to attach them and finish shaping them because they're still pretty flat looking and plumeria flower they all overlap each other we're going to start with putting three of them together so that extra wool that you left loose Felt it all together. The other two here. And we can open it up. You don't want these petals to go down and into each other. It'll help if you fold each petal over a bit onto itself and felt them together. It's going to be awkward at first, but just keep felting directly down into the center and it'll come together. There you can see it's coming even more together. It's okay if they're all pointing up like this because we'll get them all bent out and open here in a moment. And it's not too hard to do so. See? Like so? Like a flower. The key will be just getting this all really nice and felted. So you can see as the center, it's not white, it gets a little orange slash pink. So if you need to add any center color, don't be afraid to do so. Or add any other colors that might be missing to help make it all blend in. If you want to coat the outside of your flower from behind with some of the orange color as well, you can. Alright, so we are almost complete. You're really just going to want to make sure your petals overlap each other as much as possible. So if you need to continue felting them into each other more, so they're even kind of attached to each other, that's going to be helpful. And then you can bend each petal out a little bit. Kind of curve them and felt them down some, as if the petal flowers are opening. There we go. 
really starting to take shape now. Look at that. Just curling the petal will help give it that dimension. So then lastly, once you've gotten your plumeria flower all shaped, give it a final trim, any more felting that it might need, just to guarantee that it has the look that you want and is all nice and secure and smoothed out. And just like that, you'll have a needle felted plumeria flower. Alright, that's it. That's everything you need to know to make a needle felted plumeria flower and be a fiber artist too. And if you learned something new, please be sure and give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. And as always, if there's something you'd like to see me felt next, drop it down in the comments below. I might just felt it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Happy felting!